Well, today I'm in San Francisco for the Bay Area Film Mixer and I'm so excited to see a bunch of people that I haven't seen in so long. I'm also really nervous. I invited a bunch of friends and hopefully somebody comes. Wow, it feels so weird to be in San Francisco. I'm gonna try and get to Piano Fight by myself. I used to work around here a lot and now I'm a little lost. Oh shoot, is it that way? I think it's this way. I'm gonna look at the map. I was going the right way, but I wanted to look at the map because this isn't like the best part of town. So I don't wanna be lost for very long, but I found Taylor Street, which is where piano is, piano fight. It's a $15 fee to get in at the door. Then you put a name tag with what you do. Next to that, there's a table where you can put your headshot or business card and people can check you out. And that's actually a really great way to be able to approach people depending on what they do. I got a ginger beer because they have a really cool bar. Then I looked around, said hi to people that I knew, as well as just approached people that were standing on their own. And the name tags made it really easy to be able to approach somebody because it said, for example, writer. And so I just went up to them, introduced myself, and I said, hey, you're a writer. What are you currently working on? We're trying to bring this thing back. We're bringing this thing back. Um, in 2023, we're planning on going back to our regular quarterly mixers that is the plan that is the goal and you are a huge part of that today you all showed up you showed up and so moving forward we're going to continue to ask you to show up after a little over an hour of mingling we went into the theater and watched the screenings well first one was a really cool music video then a commercial reel with a dp and we did have a talk back with everybody I'm Tony this is Allison Ewing. they showed last chance charlie and then there was a documentary about people living in the berkeley marina in rvs as well as what is currently happening to art in ukraine which was so incredible to see Harry Potter is in town and I parked on the ninth floor and I got off at the same time as them. Oh my god, I can see my floor. There's a huge line for the elevator. I made it to my car and I look like a mess. Um, you guys, that was that was amazing. I I want to tell you about it, but I'm going to tell you about it tomorrow because it's 1148 and I need to drive home. I made it home. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you guys more about the Bay Area Film Mixer. I just had such a positive experience that I wanna share it. So this was the Bay Area Film Mixer and it's been going on for, I think they said like 10 years or something like that. I went to the last one, um, 2019, right before the pandemic and I got to talk yesterday to so many people that I hadn't talked to since the last mixer and I also got to meet new people yesterday. So. Um, I'm gonna put all the links to whoever you saw in the videos. I'm gonna try and link as many people as possible But we saw documentaries yesterday. We saw commercial reels Which was really cool because there was a DP for those commercial reels or for those commercials and you got to ask them questions So there's definitely a variety of people and you can learn from other actors directors writers DPs all kinds of people and Personally, I would love I was just thinking about this. I would love a Bay Area theatrical casting director because in LA we have a lot of casting directors and a lot of specifically theatrical casting directors but in the Bay Area most of the directors uh, the casting directors I know are for commercials so it would be super super helpful to find out about casting director in the Bay that cast theatrical work. I don't wanna bore you and tell you every single detail of yesterday because it just wouldn't make an interesting video. It's super interesting in person to experience it and make connections, but go follow Bay Area Film Mixer on Instagram. Highly recommend going if you are either in the Bay or close to the Bay, or if you, like me, live in LA and the Bay Area, this is so cool because you get to see so many talented people. Usually the people that are screened, oh, 
so talented but i met so many great people i talked to a, a director slash writer that wants to make a horror film and he's like hey you would be great for the lead role um but it is native american which i'm mexican very similar you know we're in the same continent but um i would love to audition for him but more than that i would love to help him find a native american actress in the bay area so if you are a native american actress or you know of one um please leave me a comment so that i can refer them to Serge, that was his name. Last time I went in 2019, it was packed. And yesterday I was so surprised to see maybe around 50 or so people. That actually made it a little bit better in being able to go and approach somebody and say hi, you know, introduce yourself and talk to them. So I got to really connect with some um, new people that I've never talked to before. I already pretty much said it, but of course I 100% recommend going to um, the mixer. If you haven't seen my vlogs, we do an actor check-in we're accountability buddies if you didn't know me and you watching this video on the saturday vlogs i will tell you what i did because i have an actor routine that i try and do every day this week i wish i could just like lie and tell you i did it a lot this week <laughs> but I didn't. Um, I did have a couple of auditions to film, so I did that, which is great. I memorized, I do memorization practice, and I memorized twice only. I didn't do any agent research, which one of my goals was to submit to at least one agent this week. I did a castability scene um, once. I like memorized it and did the scene study, and then I did skate every day, so go me for at least that. Um, I was doing a lot of work for Pizza Monster. I'm currently casting a short film that's going to be filming in San Jose and we're looking for actors who can speak English and Spanish and specifically Mexican Spanish. It's very integral to the story and you also need to be able to eat Costco pizza because it's in the script. That took a lot of my time, um, the casting, contacting people. So I'm not proud of my work this week as far as like my acting advancement. I'm not proud, you guys. You guys, you need to keep me accountable. Next week, you have to come back to the vlog and make sure that I did what I said or else comment like, you said you were gonna do it. Your turn. In the pinned comment, tell me what you did this week to advance your acting career, whether it was you know invest in your self tape audition setup or um, get a ticket to the southwest actors conference or memorize a monologue like there's just so many things that we can be doing every day to be productive and better ourselves and you know get to where we want to be in our career because i know i'm not and i know a lot of people aren't where they want to be in their career and if you don't even know where to start in acting i have a ton of videos this one's going to tell you about how to start an acting career period and i think it's really helpful if you just don't know where to even begin